They lost their lives. Overnight vigils in Half Moon Bay and Monterey Park, California. I think the last two days, three days, have just been so difficult for us. It's very frustrating. Across the country, grief, despair, no anger. It was really hard not to cry because all I thought was, what is happening? What is happening to our community? In just the past four days, eight mass shootings, the latest leaving three people dead and one injured in North Carolina. According to the Robeson County Sheriff's Office, a suspect is in custody. Three of the most recent shootings in California, a state considered to have the toughest gun laws in the nation. But that hasn't stopped the violence. This problem isn't unique to our state, but it is unique to our nation. This has to end. It must end. According to the Gun Violence Archive, in the first few weeks of 2023, at least 73 people have been killed in 40 mass shootings across the country, compared to 27 at this point last year. That's any shooting with at least four people shot. There have been more mass shootings than days in 2023. One happens and then within a week, there's two more. We call that social contagion, where other people see somebody do that and then suddenly that feels like an answer for them as well. Nationally, politicians don't often agree on solutions, but the Giffords Law Center points to progress. In 2022, President Biden signed a bipartisan bill that gives grants to states for red flag laws, enhances background checks for 18 to 21 year olds, and funds mental health services. 21 states and Washington, D.C. passed some kind of bill aimed at gun safety, though dozens of other bills in state legislatures throughout the country did not pass. I do think we're making some progress. It's slow, but I think it's coming. We need to come together and we need action to stop this violence. In the wake of the recent shootings in California, Governor Gavin Newsom and state lawmakers there have been vocal, demanding more action on the federal level. Senate Democrats joined President Biden in calling for new limits on access to firearms. But that really is a non-starter for many conservative lawmakers. All right, Kate's now for us. Kate, thanks. What's going on, YouTube? Your boy Self Made is back, and I see life is getting crazier. All these massacres, all these families dying, uh, killing one another, killing their kids, their wives, their husbands. It's going to get worse. Divide and conquer. To basically, runaway slave. That's all we are. And the cops are the slave catchers. Let me repeat that. The cops are the slave catchers. Remember that. They're not your friends. A lot of times when you call them for help, you notice when you call them, they question you, ask for your ID when you're in trouble. And then got a nerve to come there and just threaten you when you ask them for help. We got to stop calling them. You know, it's like what these folks do in the streets, which I don't get. A lot of people got killed recently. And I ain't gonna drop no names. I'm gonna just state facts. They put their location on the damn internet. Yeah, I'm posted up. I'm out here. I'm ready. Next thing you know, 30 minutes more by, 45 minutes more by, they going. Same with the police. Give me a location. They coming. They coming to take you out. They're not there to help. They are our enemies. I don't care if you're black, white, green, purple, whatever. They work for the government. The government is here to get rid of us. They already said there's too many of us on the planet. So they basically they gave us a little bit of taste of where they're going with this. I got to be careful what I say and how I say things because I don't want them to flag this video. You know? But it's a lot of players in the NFL, the NBA, or just sports, period, actors, celebrities, period, are dropping dead. Now, and I looked up some of the facts of why a lot of them are dying. It's because they took the jab. You know what the jab is, y'all. I'm not to say no more. It's the jab. We don't know what's in it, right? We don't know what's in it. So, for what I hear... It's causing blood clocks, cardiac arrests, 
heart attacks, strokes, it causes so many problems with your immune system. It's taking a lot of us out of here. Stop putting stuff like that in your body. I didn't put it in my body and I'm still fine. Let me tell you how screwed up the system is. How much it's so, how, how fake it is. I went to the emergency room, right? And they told me, oh yeah, well, you know, uh, we use this machine to uh, go up your nose. We think you have it. I go back, uh, I say about two days later. Different doctor, right? Same place. Oh, no, no, no. We test you. You don't have it. Make up your mind. And then they tell you to self, you know, hide yourself. I can't say it out loud because I don't want to flag the video. They tell you to hide yourself. You know, go shackle up in a house somewhere where you're around nobody. How is that going to take a sickness out of you? Does that make sense, y'all? Are we that naive of letting these people do this to us? Shout out to my homeboys on the doing the race. Y'all know who y'all are. And my terminology of doing a race, meaning when the slave catchers are coming after you, you have to lay low. That's my terminology of doing a race. You know what I'm saying? Because they create laws on purpose for everything you do to keep you in the system. That's slavery. It's a shame. And a lot of brothers that's in the system, well, I mean, that work for the system, that's like cops, lawyers, doctors. I don't feel sorry for y'all. Oh, I'm on a job and, you know, the police department, they richly profile me, you know, I'm, I'm the only black officer. You did it to yourself. You're not equal to them. When are you going to learn the hard way? You're a slave too. It's about time we wake up. They always trying to pit whites against black. I touch base on a lot in my videos about that stuff. First of all, there's no cure for hate. It's not. It's a virus that continues to grow in them. And the only way to get rid of that virus is you got to take them out of here. That's the only way. And the sad thing is we got to take half our population too because a lot of us adapted their ideology to hate our own kind. It's a sad, sad situation. They even be talking about my own kind like that. But something got to give. The same how they hit the reset button, we got to hit the reset button. Right now, it, the whole country is self-destruct right now. It ain't even just... America, they trying to hide other countries, other countries like uh, Argentina, Brazil, everybody's fighting, everybody, you know, it's just that over here, this country is just wicked with the system, we the most jail house population skyrocket to the roof compared to all other countries how the hell we supposed to be a free country and we got the most people in jail ain't that ain't that crazy the most jail population in the whole world not china and they got more than that more people than we do This whole planet is a prison, y'all. And we that's why we question ourselves every day. What are we doing here? Why are we here? And like I say, y'all, I don't want Caucasian people to think I'm racist. Because I'm not. Because some of you guys are very decent people. There's still some John Browns out there that's going to try to help us so I don't want you guys to think that I'm racist 
I get more on my own kind because my own kind right now is behind the eight ball. We don't have no land. We don't have no structure. We don't have nothing to stand on, nothing to fight for. Now, the ones, other Caucasians that's against us, the white supremacy, I'm going to always give them hell. I'm going to tell you that now. I can't stand them because they can't stand me. They want me dead. Now, the cool white folks, the Caucasians, you know, they can rock out with us, you know. So I had to get that out of there. I don't want you to think it's hating my blood. I only hate people who hate me. Vice versa, right? I'm a damn Pisces. Sometimes we give too much love to the wrong people and they come back and they bite us. And people take advantage of our kindness. And they know they can. But once you turn a Pisces into a dark fish, you'll never see that nice side again. People, we got to get it together. 2023. They ain't never see this many mass shootings. We ain't even get to the summer yet. We ain't even get to the spring yet. And we got all these mass shootings. Can you imagine how it's going to be shortly? Once we once it get warm outside? It's ridiculous. I'm about to get a bottle here, folks. Just a little food for thought. Ain't nothing gonna change until we change it as people. No matter how many of us keep coming on these platforms and keep trying to wake everybody up and keep trying to explain to y'all what's going on, how the government is putting us in a box. It's about to be too late. It's here. We so far going as humans, there ain't really nothing much left to say or do. I ain't never see the world like this. I come from the 80s era where everything was without phones and everything it was beautiful. I could actually talk to a woman and have a good time with a woman with no problems. Now I get around a woman and she in competition with me. It's crazy, ain't it? Or I get around one of my, my uh, homeboys, same thing. I got something negative to say. Family too. We at war with our minds. And we lose it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. When I get some more subscribers, we go live. We uh, get more into detail about how we can try to fix things. But I doubt if we can. Peace.